Hello everybody. I'm just going to check all of my devices. Okay, I can see myself on Craftstash. Hello, right, let's turn that down. Hey Benita. Good. I'm on. <laughs> How are you? Hey Jeanette. Can you hear me okay? I'm just looking slightly away from the camera for a moment because I'm just popping a link in here. Hey Zoe. Hey Kathy. Oh good, everybody's joining. <clears throat> hey Craftstash. <laughs> Maria's in the background so she'll be answering any questions if I miss them and if you're familiar with the Craftstash lives and my lives then you know the drill. You know how it all works. Um, and let's just pin that one there. Okay, cool. Oh, that was a nice smooth um, start. I'm just going to pull up my comments on my iPad. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you probably hear me a bit louder once I'm nearer my um, mic. And I will catch up on the comments in a second. Let's just pull this up on here. And we can get crafting. So it's my normal two o'clock kind of live, really, except we're over on Crab Stash today, which is nice. Um, okay, where are you? Uh, Crab Stash. I'll go back at some of the um, comments in a second. It's just coming up. <clears throat> okay. Um, hmm. Why is it not letting me see on my profile? Sorry guys, you've got this to look at. Hopefully those of you have got your kit, you've got it ready. And um, yeah, I don't know why it's not bringing it up on my iPad. Just want to make sure I can see the comments, that's all. Um, dismiss that. Where are we? I think I've just got to scroll down a little bit. Hmm. Let's go to posts and see if it's on there weird because I'm on the on their page oh there we go so usually on mine it's there straight away um cool got it yeah there we go so hi everybody sorry for anything I've missed um hi Sam you're I'm already to go you're all ready to go says Jenny Jeanette is eating Biscoff cheesecake with my latte sounds lovely hey Katie um let's get rid of that Oh, I don't know what all this stars thing is. I'm just going to try and get rid of that screen because that's... Oh my gosh. Get rid of this. No, I don't want that. Right, there we go. <laughs> There's stuff going on on the page that I'm not sure about, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't know what all this stars thing is. I think that's to do with Crafts Dash, so... But thank you. I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> um, hey, Kate. Hey, Louisa. So I'm now standing. I've totally gutted my craft room moved it all around I now have two desks I have one where I can stand and one where I can sit it's taken me a year of craft alongs to realize that I'm more comfortable standing up when I'm live crafting because you know what I'm like I will change my mind last minute I'll then want to grab something and I've just it's a really nice setup so I'm right by the window as well and um, when I get round to it, I will do the full craft room tour because I know lots of you like to have a little nose and um, I know I like to be nosy in people's craft rooms, so I will share it. But um, hi, everybody. Hey, Paula. Hey, Linda. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Avril. So, yes, I'm stood up. So it just feels really nice now to be able to. I've got a, um, a bar stall coming tomorrow, actually, as well. So if I do want to take a little rest, I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're going to be making a goldfish bowl rocker card with the penny slider so if you're familiar with my channel hello welcome anybody who's new that's joining i'm sam i'm from made to surprise but i have my mixed up craft channel which is where i do lives as well so i know there's lots of people that i'm seeing here i have to keep remembering i'm on the craft stash page because all the names i'm seeing come up um i recognize <laughs> but we're obviously not on there we're on their page so I've got to be got to be good um Jeanette says yes please do a tour <laughs> oh Benicia well they, they went this morning actually they came and took that big monstrosity that was uh popped there the other day so I don't know what they bought why they put it there I think they just used the parking space um I have stand up and sit down tables yeah I think it's going to be a bit of a game changer for me now Jeanette I've got my sit down with all my colouring pens so I do when I want to chill I can um, and when I've got to write blogs and all that kind of stuff but standing up I just feel I don't know I feel really free it's lovely nothing obstructing me um, Bev loves standing to craft as well 
yeah, because I stand when I do the demos when I go to Chanda and things like that. And it's really nice. And yeah, I love it. Uh, hello, Andrea. Um, Andrea. Uh, happy Monday. Um, hey, Jody. Good morning. Afternoon, Sam. Hello. Your groupies. <laughs> yeah, the muckers. <laughs> If you're not a mucker, head over to Mixed Up Crafters on Facebook and you can become one. <laughs> um, yes, we must behave. Yes, we must. Right. OK, so the inspiration for this has come from this one. So this is a rocker penny slider that I made maybe four weeks ago now. And this is using the Garden Delights stamp set from my range. It's been so well received. It's a really nice, easy card to make. And you've got the bee here who will spin around. Mine's been on display a bit now, so I need to give him a little bit, wake him up a bit. You can see he spins, but it also rocks. And because, I, yeah, you can see he's really spinning there. So because I wanted to do a goldfish bowl, obviously that's circular, I thought we could have a rocking goldfish bowl and then we'll use the penny slider that comes in the kit. So I need to mention that there is an offer at the moment, which is valid until the 26th of April, and you can get £5 off any back boxes or any of the boxes that are on there now using a secret code which is on craft world so if you go to my pinned link that's my affiliate link that will take you to the box if you're on craft world then you'll be able to find that if you're not on craft world then you need to join which is free to do and it's on the main um, home page you'll see a picture of me and today's craft along and all the information with the secret code is there okay we also have i shared it on my page possibly two weeks ago now and it's the papercraft society stars so every month the whoever's been the designer of the box will pick three stars who have shared their cards using papercraft society boxes so i did share it i will share it again um, after this live and if you've made anything using your papercraft society boxes make sure you submit it and I'm, i will go and pick the winners and then they will be i think they're announced at the end of the month on craft world so like I said, if you're not on Craft World, head over there. It's free to join. There is a, subscri a subscription offer if you want to, and you'll get more perks. You get 10% off uh, Craft Stash, and uh, there's loads of other things as well. So, yeah, if you want to do that. But you can just head over there. Just sign up for free just to get the code to get the £5 off if you want to do that. Um, where am I? Get the secret code here. Yep, so there's a link there. Pamela's just ordered hers. Love the aquarium. Enjoyed watching you make it. Yeah, so I just wanted to explain... The box of mine is the under the water fishes um, themed. I love, I live by the sea and this is one of my favourite kind of themes to do. And when I was asked again to guest design for the Papercraft Society, I pitched this theme and we've gone with it and we've included penny sliders for this one. So all of my, um, the samples that I made in the booklet are all at Craft Stash. They you know got photographed and they all got put into your booklet so if you have this you will see all the inspiration along with the other design team as well which have made some beautiful cards so they're all in your booklet which i have somewhere actually i'll find it in a moment but i will also be doing more tutorials with this so i've already done this one which has gone up onto my channel which is a little kind of fish tank aquarium just a nice little scene I've got little googly eyes there on the uh, crab which i just love and then you've got space to write the back so it's a pop-up box card it will fold flat so that will go into an envelope or as I mentioned during the craft along when I made this one, it'd be quite nice, I think, in a little gift bag just so it stays in that 3D form. I'm then going to be doing the penny slider rocker today and then I'm going to I'll probably be making a few more with this as well because, again, I'm completely biased, but I absolutely love this kit. I've been really enjoying it and I've loved seeing what you've all been sharing. So many of you have been sharing some really, really wonderful cards using this kit. So again, like I said, if you haven't already... If you haven't done the Papercraft Society stars, head over because, um, yeah, you could win a prize. It'd be a bundle, a made to surprise bundle. What's the stars? It's an icon beside the thumbs up, heart, etc. OK, I'll have to have a look. So I, I don't know what it is. Right. So um, I've got some Percy pigs. So I'll be eating those oh, again. I, I best explain in case anybody's outside of the UK. These are Percy pigs. They're just some lovely little sweets. <laughs> So I've got, got my sugar fix for the live and I've got myself a cold drink as well. Now I have already gone ahead and I've cut all these pieces because these are going to be the ones for when I make the YouTube video. So again, anybody new and those of you that just like to chill and watch the live, I will do this again and it will go on to YouTube. So, you know, don't ever worry that if you get to a point, if you do want to craft along and then you think actually... 
I try not to go fast and I don't mind if people want to say, Sam, so down and please do that. But if you, you know, do feel, oh, you just don't want to craft along anymore, then just hold on and then that will go onto YouTube. But it just helped me get all the sizes ready for today's card. Um, let me just check. I'm late to the party. What's the offer? Five pound off. It's a secret code over on Craft World, Kate. Um, the links have been shared. There's a pinned link to the box as well below. Do you have the link for these, please? The link for the box or the link for the cards, Debbie? The cards are all over on mix on my Mixed Up Craft YouTube channel. And for this kit, the link is below. Um, um, hello, everybody. Alex loves Percy Pigs, her favourite sweets. <laughs> oh, it doesn't give me no money. I, this isn't my page. Um, I don't, I don't, don't send, send stars. Just don't do it. I don't, if it's costing people, I have no idea what it's about. I'm not on my page. I'm on the craft stash page. And um, I don't know if it's something you innate. I don't have it on mine. So they've obviously enabled it. But please don't send stars. If it's costing people money, do not send stars. Just hit the emojis. That's all I need. <laughs> um, can we order the Percy Pigs too? I will have a look for you. Okay. So I've decided to make this card a little bit bigger purely because I just thought I had more space then to be able to add all of the little, you know, fish and stuff. So if you don't want to make this bigger, you want to keep it so it will fit within a six by six. <laughs> Thanks for all the emojis, guys. <laughs> if you want to keep this within a six by six size or a standard envelope size, then just shrink down your sizes. So when I give you the measurements for the circles, you just make yours a bit smaller. Joan says, I can't craft along. I just get so mesmerised by... <laughs> Anyone who's doing craft longs. <laughs> I'm eating an Easter egg at the moment. Oh, mine have all gone, Valerie. They didn't last long at all. <laughs> yeah, stick with emojis, guys. <laughs> I can't wait for this tutorial. Right, let's get going then. So, first of all, now I'm using my circle cutter. I know lots of people have this, but if you don't, you can draw around plates. You can use your dies, um, anything circular. Some people use their, you know, their double-sided tape rolls, all that kind of thing. But I am going to use this because it's just an amazing piece of kit. I'm not sure actually if Craft Stash have one on the, I think they did, but I'm not sure if it's sold out or not. I'm just looking for my um, little mat here. See, everything's got a new home now. So I'm, I did think to myself at the weekend when I was moving this craft room around, I thought, Sam, you're going live on Monday. So I've really made sure I've tried to get everything. So I'm not kind of faffing about. Um, Bernadette, I couldn't find you so happy now. Oh good, glad you're here Bernadette. Uh, Stephanie loves the circle cutter. So you want to, first of all, you want to cut yourself three pieces and this will mean you use three pieces of A4 because of the size. So again, if you don't want to be using, you know, you want to get to maybe two circles out of a piece of A4, then just shrink your sizes down. But first of all, you want to cut three six and a half inch size circles or something near about. So if you've got nested dies that come up to that kind of size, if you've got a plate that comes near that size or slightly smaller, then please use that. You know, I want this to be a, a tutorial that anybody can do, you know, with the with the tools that they have. Um, Jeanette, yes, after losing things on Friday. <laughs> well, I'm hoping as well, because I'm stood up, if I drop things, it's quite easy for me to see. Whereas when you sat down, they either sometimes can fall on you or, and I had my bins right underneath my feet. It just, it was all a bit too much. So anyway, we're now standing up and I really like it. So I'm going to just hover this over my cardstock just so I can make sure I'm going to get it as close to the edge as I can. I didn't think, no, I can't get two out of this. And I'm just going to cut myself my three circles. Now you do actually trim a little bit off the top, so you could possibly get two actually from this. Well, I didn't push down so much there. Because um, if you see what I mean here, we trim this bit off the top, which is going to give us our goldfish or our little fish bowl shape. So, you know, you may well see if I can see. No, I wish we were thinking. No. Anyway, <laughs> just cut through. But it might be three six by six, it might be three four, um, sorry, um, three six inch diameter circles, or it might be three five, five and a half. It's entirely up to you. These are so any kind of circular cards are really easy to make any size you want. Uh, paper creativity is so fascinating. I made my circles on my last rocker card using my Cricut. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, digital cutting machines as well. So these circles are six and a half 
okay and you want three of them please tell me to slow down okay if anybody at any point thinks you know they just want all repeating any measurements just pop it in capitals it's a bit easier for me to catch it when it's going through the chat then i can kind of pull it out i haven't used my box yet Teresa. <laughs> but then how long have you had it because i know you're not in the uk i did make a pop-up uh pop and lock card as well as a micro mini folio this week oh that sounds really nice but yes, you must open that box, Teresa. We'll want to see what you're making. <laughs> I stand up and craft most of the time. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it's going to get me a bit fit. Because <laughs> since lockdown, I'm very, very unfit. Considering I used to run long distance, um, half marathons, that kind of thing. I don't think I can even run to my corner shop unless there's maybe someone dangling some chocolate on the way up there. But yeah, so I am very unfit. Um, hey Melanie, she's watching while at work. Crafting along and dropped my circles <laughs> twice. Maybe I should stand up. It just, it, again, I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm very late to the party with standing up crafting for sure. But um, yeah, I love it. Right, so you should have your three circles. Sam and Craft Stash said, "Don't send stars." You don't send stars uh, if I've missed people sending them. Yeah, don't send them. I imagine Craft Stash maybe will look into getting that removed because I believe they cost. Um, from what people have said. I have no knowledge about them, so yeah, <laughs> just don't send them. Um, Sam, I made the waterfall card today. It turned out really nice. Oh, it's such an easy style as well. Benita, <laughs> get it open. She keeps stroking the box. You can get downloads as well. Um, if you are on the uh, Papercraft Society, you know, you subscribe to it, you've got your kit, you'll get the downloads as well. So in the book, it tells you where to go for your downloads and you can print off the papers. So use them because you can get more um what have i missed inches off oh, this is centimeters so it's six and a half centimeters um God, it's inches this is six and a half inch circles you want three of them watch out for neck and back pain after standing well i'm hoping it's going to help my back because i suffer with lower back pain from a, a car accident many years ago so when i yeah i think i just need to move more right so next you want to trim off only on two of them Actually, I'll just hold on a minute because I think some people are still cutting their circles. Three circles cut, headphones driving me nuts. Oh, hopefully you get that sorted. Hey, Teresa. Um, oh, she's from, sorry, you were replying to someone from Idaho. Um, also, the new creative stamping is Fish Sea themed. Oh, yeah, I did see that pop-up showing her, actually. Yeah, that would look really nice with this kit. Sam in the garden watching you in the sunshine. Oh, nice. Sounds lovely. This is the first live I've managed to see um, as I'm usually working. Hey, Angela, thank you for joining. Just showed my friends how to make your pop-up display card and they loved it. They love um, all of your cards. This one is one dwell. Ah, oh. mine is open and explored, just not used yet. <laughs> okay. I have only found your papers to download, so great. Um, Good, good, love inches, spectacular. Okay, so grab your trimmer or scissors and a ruler, whatever you use to cut, and you wanna trim down, let me just check the measurements on this one. So it's five and a quarter. So pop your circle in, or use your ruler. I'm gonna bring it so that the, the edge of the circle there lines up with my five and a quarter um, marker, and then just trim, and again with another one. So five and a quarter. Now I'm still debating whether to turn this into a shaker as well. So it might be a rocker, shaker, penny slider card. <laughs> How many card styles can we get in one? Um, but I'm going to do it so that it will be kind of the, it's the last bit that we add. So depending on how I go to decorate it, um, will depend on whether we do that bit or not. Um, we won't let you down. <laughs> Um, I've made lots of your cards, but not confident enough to put... Oh, please do put them up, Linda. And like Anne's just replied there, share away. Yeah, if you're talking about within the group Mixed Up Crafters, it please do, because it is. It's a lovely group. And also on the Craft Stash Chat Facebook page. You know, share your makes there as well. Yeah, don't be afraid. Do it, love a shaker. <laughs> I just thought it worked quite well with this. Right, so you should have two pieces, because you're going to cut your penny slider into one and then this is going to be the back so it's going to conceal all of your kind of workings and stuff so I'm now going to get rid of um, those two because I need them for when I do my live 
um, my plate, gosh, my YouTube. Then with the other one, you see you're gonna trim this one um, right down, but the other half you wanna keep, because you use that on the back um, as a mat layer possibly if you wanna add a, um, your message and stuff. So this piece here is three and a half. So pop in your circle and once you get to the three and a half marker, trim it off. Pop that excess to one side because you'll come back to that. Okay, and then we're going to add a score line to that one. Um, if I grab my, see my scoreboard's now on my um, right hand side and it used to be on my left. So that's going to take some getting used to. We then need to add a half inch border, okay, um, a half inch uh, little tab. So I'm going to lay this in here and make sure that this line here is straight with one of the tracks. So that way you know that you know your line's going to be straight. <laughs> We're try Bernadette. <laughs> you won't get a negative response, Linda. We are all learning all the time. Yeah, I'm learning as well. The amount of times, you know, I do something new or someone recommends something or suggests something. I love seeing everyone's makes. Yeah, ordered my box on Saturday, eagerly awaiting delivery and have subscribed now. Oh, brilliant, Teresa. I hope you enjoy it. So this one here, once you've lined it up, it should just be by the three and a half. Just score it three. But just make sure, like I said, that's running nice and straight with one of the tracks. And then you know that that's nice and straight. And this is going to be our stand. So it's going to stand up and we're going to add a little stopper inside so it won't splat open and fall. Um, Linda, we're a very friendly, non-critical lot. Share away. Yes, definitely. Thank you to everybody joining. And as always, thank you to those that are watching in the background. because I know lots of people are back at work now. Then you will also want to cut this piece here, which is going to be the stopper. So this is three by one. OK, so I'm just going to cut a piece using this scrap here. Once I've got all the sizes done, then I'll relax a little bit because I like to get all that out properly and then I can kind of keep the chat going and chat away and stuff. Um, off topic, can I use alcohol markers with VersaFine? You can, but you're best, you're best using a um, alcohol marker friendly ink. So either a hybrid, Memento, something like that. The um, VersaFine is water. Um, it reacts to, sorry, it's a water um, proof ink so it will react to the alcohol unless you let it dry for a long long time then you'll get less kind of um i guess bleeding when it when the alcohol marker hits the black ink so if you can i wouldn't use it and if you've got something else to use but if you desperately need to use it but do make sure it completely dries even if it's touch dry i'd let i'd leave it for you know even maybe an hour just so it's completely gone because versafine does take a little bit longer to dry i didn't know about the paper downloads oh my god thank you the shells are absolutely gorgeous <laughs> yeah there's the shells there's this one so i've just downloaded this one for today so this is the vellum but with blue so that's a really nice one so i'm going to use that there is and then it's the two main scenes that are on there as well um okay so yeah i'm just going to cut this bit what do i say it was three by one Yeah, I don't know if the free downloads have always... Well, I, I know they've not always been there, but I think they've been there for all the last maybe few boxes, possibly. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really good. Hopefully, it will encourage people to use their boxes because I still know lots of people, my mum being one of them, who just doesn't use her boxes. She just likes them and she just likes to look at them, which I guess we do with a lot of our craft supplies, but I'm very much the kind of person that encourages you to get in there and cut it. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed the paper downloads. In the booklet, Joan, um, someone did say the page in one of the lies, but I forgot the page. And then my booklet is down in a pile of paperwork. Um, it's it's in there. I think it's where the contents is, possibly. A few pages in. This one here, you want to score along the three inch side at half an inch, one and a half and two and a half. OK, so I'll hold there for a minute. I'm going to have a sweet and let people just make sure they're up to date. <laughs> Zoe, <laughs> I've also just been looking at it all. 
Oh, it's on page six. Um, stays on. Um, hang on a minute. Let me remember my inks. Yeah, stays on's okay, I think. Hang on, let me check. There is on one of your things here. Who was it who said about your inks? This is why these come in handy. Top tips for die cutting. Watercolour with inks. This is watercolouring, but if it's not on here, no, maybe it's not that one. I could have sworn it was on one of these. Colour pencil. Adhesives. The embossing. Uh, ah, guide to ink. Here we go. Stays on. The ultimate in permanent ink. You can use it on any non-porous surface. It only takes five minutes to dry. Is archival and even acid free. So it still doesn't say if I can use it with alcohol markers or not. It's a permanent. I think it's okay. So the scoring for that one is along the three inch side. You want to score at half an inch, one and a half and two and a half. You can't. Okay, Pamela said you can't. I wasn't 100% sure, so. <clears throat> Watercolour, there you go. I don't use it anymore. I haven't used it. stays on for a long, long time. But it's if, when I did use it, it was really good for acetate because it is. It stays on anything. <laughs> Denise has just said then, Christina Griffin, box seven. I see the comments probably a good 30 seconds later as well, guys. So if anybody is like, why is she not? Why is she only just seeing it now? It's just how it is, unfortunately. To my understanding, you can't. There we go. Okay, so that's everything scored. I'm just going to pop that to one side. Then you need to cut your pattern paper um, and this piece as well. So we'll pop that there. Yeah, that's what I use, Memento. I love those cards, Sam. Where did you get them from? The cards, they're all in the kits, Sandra. That's all from the Paper Craft Society kits. You always get an information card, and I pop mine all on a little um, ring thing here. And um, it's just really good. So I remember all these things, so I knew there was somebody had mentioned about it on there. So, but obviously not exactly with the name, so. Then this piece here is for the top of the little fish bowl and this is one by five and a half you may decide you want it a bit longer it's up to you but i thought the one was a nice kind of width and it will fit the sentiment so if you want to stamp your sentiment here then you can but i think i'm i'm, I'm possibly going to stamp a sentiment here but i'm also going to do some heat embossing possibly on the acetate so like i said i've got quite a few ideas i want to put into this card but we'll see how it goes and then using the download, so I you can download this as a five, A5 size. I downloaded it and printed it onto the full A4 piece and then just cut it in half. So it's up to you. If you do it as the A5, obviously the image will be squashed down. It'll be more condensed, but I quite liked it on the large piece. And then I've just cut it in half. So I can keep that for another project. In fact, I'll use that for the, the YouTube. And then this one is um so this was a five and three quarters this is always gonna it's trying to get the width of the it's hard to get the actual diameter of this circle i can't remember how far i went down there you go it must have been that's the largest point it's just under six i think i just went down yeah i think i just done six so then go down to six keep that one actually i'll cut it with you Cut a fresh one. No, I remember what I done because this is is this because this is the A5. I wanted to make sure that it was going to cut because yeah, you'll come over the edge, but it doesn't matter for this design. So if you've got this here with the blade, I like to just kind of catch it on the edge of the paper there. So if you just sit it down and kind of pull it down, and you'll feel it catch, and then just bring it slightly down onto the paper, and then just check. Try and get it so I don't waste too much. But don't worry if you go over this end at the bottom because you're going to cut it straight anyway. I totally forgot I got the Arteza watercolours for Christmas. I can use those, woohoo. <laughs> so 
just gonna cut that. Ooh, let's go back this way. Let's push that down a bit better. You're not gonna see the edges of this because we're gonna add a frame. So actually we need to cut another um, circle, thinking about it. I didn't get that far. So you do want one more. Um, it's actually, it's up to you what colour you do this. You may want to, I'm going to stick with white because what's going to happen, I'll trim this down in a minute, but this is going to go on here and then there's going to be a frame covering this. The reason again as well why I've got this thicker border is to add the foam for whether it's, a, you know, um, whether you do a shaker card or not, I'm still going to add the foam. So I've got a dimensional frame. So if I want to pop like the seaweed and the seabed and things like that in there, I can. So, yeah, I'm going to go back up to six and a half and I'm just going to cut that one out again. But you may not want to turn yours into a shaker. Then you, you might not feel you even want a frame because it is framed, you know, with the white anyway. But I'm going to cut this because I may decide to do the shaker. We'll see how we are for time and um, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to bring this one back down to five. And actually, yeah, no, it will still be five and a quarter. I'm just thinking because I need to cut into this. I think it might be easier. Let me just see if I've got a circle die. Um, that's near that size, I don't know. That's a funny shape. Just trying to give you some more options really. See, that could kind of work as a frame. It's an unusual size. This is a Tonic Studio die. But that could be quite a cool frame. So I might use that. You basically want to cut another circle around this. Let's see what else I've got here. I might as well get it done now and then I've got it ready to go if we do go down that route. Yeah, they're not going to really work. If you're going to just carry on using your cutter, then you just want to drop it down, um, back down to the six again. Or maybe go a little bit over, again, if you've got the cutter. If you see, if you're just cutting around different things, if you go a little bit over, pop this back in the middle and you can use your ruler as a guide to make sure you're getting a nice even frame. I'm just following the outside there. And then you just cut that again and it will give you your frame. But I quite like the thought of having that design. So see what you've got. You might have your large nesting dies and such. I'm just going to get that one cut out. Like I said, so it's ready to go. I'm just over on my other table. I didn't want to bring everything all in shot. Okay, so now I've got that. So the idea is, if we go back to this one, with this circle, so you need to trim this down. You just lay it in your trimmer over your main circle. Just line up your edge of your circle, the white piece with the blade, and then you can just cut the blue like so. Okay. And then that is going to go over the top and that will have my acetate behind it. It's just quite a fancy, quite like that design. And you can see this is gonna go along the top I'm gonna to have our sentiment and all our stuff so hopefully seeing and then that's your back one and that's your stand and that's your little stopper all right so I'll lay everything out so you can check that you've got the same as me so you should have your pattern paper you should have two the same your stand and your little stopper and then if you've done a frame and then the top of the um, bowl there all right <clears throat> what's after the vellum circle after the vellum circle this one here this isn't vellum I know it looks like the vellum in the kit but this is a download but 
Um, I'm not sure what you mean by what's after. Sam, I can't find the oh so sweet paper. Anyway, it's sold out, I'm afraid, Sarah. Unless it's on Paper Wishes, which is in the US, or Hachanda. I can't remember if they've got stocks left. Um, okay. Right, next we want to stick... I'm just going to trim that, even though you're not going to see it. I'm just going to caught it a little bit with the end there. So if you pop all your pieces to one side. I'm going to get rid of my mat. Um, and then we want to stick this down because we're going to cut our penny slider into this. You want to stick it onto one of your white pieces. So let's grab my glue. It is new, Sarah, but it's sold out. Um, can't find... What's that like? Yeah, it's the newest one, Jeanette. It was the one with the donuts and everything on, but it, it sold out very quickly. Um, I'm sure we'll be getting more in. But unless, um, I can't remember if Chanda sold out or not. Sam, did you say that this kit has been sold out? No, this all went out to the subscribers, but there's open stock now, um, Christine. So they've got it up on the Craft Stash website. So I've pinned the link below and there's an offer because I'm doing the live today. You can get £5 off any boxes, not just mine. Um, but there's a secret code on Craft World. And it's only until the 26th. You've got is it just a week. Oh, that one. I think I got that. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to give that a minute to dry. So in the kit, you've got your penny slider sorry if that was a, a thud then it's up to you which one you use um i think i'm gonna go for this one although saying that because it's a rocker i actually think that one's gonna work better just the straight one let me just have a little think it's kind of there if i'm gonna have that over it so I could come up a bit high. If you imagine this is going to rock, yeah, I think the straight one's going to work better because if you go for this one, it's not going to rock enough for it to go up to the top, if that makes sense. Well, it depends how heavy you rock it, but I think you're going to get a better movement if you use the straight one. No worries, Christine. I can see how now, hang on a minute, what was that? Angela ordered hers on Saturday. I can see now that I'm going to have to move to the UK in order to get all the good craft kits. Yeah, but you've got great craft kits as well. You, um, stateside, Barbara, um, where are you? Are you Australia? Because I know there's nice kits outside the UK because I see people sharing them. And I'm like, oh. Oh, sorry, it's not Hachanda anymore. It's the craft store. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Pa Pauline's just said there, it's called the craft store. Sorry, I need to get used to saying that because it's obviously not what they are anymore. They were her chanda. <laughs> um, yeah, and craft stash do international shipping. So just position, you know, where you think you want your penny slider to go. I'm going to have mine there. So I'm just going to run that through my machine, try and get it straight as possible. Obviously tack it down with a little bit of tape, but I've got my magnetic base plate so I'm just gonna lay that down okay. and keep the piece that comes out because you're gonna stick that onto your back piece now oh, I ended up going a bit wonky but I don't think that's gonna matter it's still gonna work fine on that downloads the paper craft societies april's box yeah so i downloaded these ones page six yeah yeah so keep this piece because you're going to end up sticking it so that it all looks like it's you know the same scene you haven't taken the piece out you could if you want leave it out but you'll just get a white line so it's quite nice to piece that back in behind in a moment oh my stomach's rumbling then okay so next just check yeah. So next you want to cut yourself again in your kit. You'll have your circle here. You might want to use um, real pennies for this. I don't um, and I, there's no real reason why I don't. It's just, well, it creates a bit more weight if you're posting it, I guess. But um, just double up these. So I'm going to die cut four of these circles. 
and also I just think with a penny slider rocker if you've got a real penny it might be too much weight and the rocker will end up when it's um, you know not being rocked when it's still it might be tilted so I'm just going to stick with the cardstock and um, yeah I'm sure it'll be fine so like I said I'm going to cut four four of these circles so I'm just going to use bits of my scraps here this is a 300 weight GSM that I'm using thank you for the stars but don't send them in a <laughs> saying that in the most politest way because I believe they cost you to send um, so uh, yeah this isn't my page I'm just on the craft stash page so um, as lovely as it is if you see the option just leave it and um, I think they're going to look into that. <laughs> Time for a tonics, yeah. <laughs> now I've got me, um, I've got Percy Pigs today. I went into Marks and Spencer's yesterday, so I picked those up. Um, okay. I love Hopecraft Cider Boxes. I think they are one of the best monthly subscriptions out there. I do as well I mean I am obviously a bit biased because this is my one and stuff but I've been getting them right from day one even before I was part of the craft stash team I think they're lovely boxes okay so I've got my four so you're going to stick two of them together I'm going to use the collar as well because that's just going to really strengthen these have become nice heavy discs or weight um stiff little discs uh, Lynn uses washers the hole in the middle is just the right for the sticky pads so yeah, whatever works for you guys, use that. I'm just gonna pop the two together. I absolutely love the boxes, but yours especially, Sam. I've made so much from the box. Oh, thank you. It's so nice, like I said, seeing what everybody creates because people do things or they position things differently or they might do a, a slightly different scene and I look at it and I think, oh, that's really nice. I love that idea. Did you see the display of... Oh my gosh, Lorraine, I was waiting for someone to mention this. I so want... It's like I thought you... Well, you are my friends, but I just... It's like I wanted to text people. I watched it last night, Call the Midwife. It was the new series. And they were in the, the like you said, buckle shop. And Val was there talking to one of the customers. Oh, no, she was talking to um, her husband. I forget his name. And it, it, the camera panned around and there was a whole shelf full of the displays um, of the Tunnock's Tea Cakes. And I was sat there on my own thinking, oh my gosh, I need to tell people. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that because it did. It really made me smile. So they obviously, I um, don't know when they, 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 yeah, they came out in the 50s. So it's probably the right kind of time. Okay, so that's those. And then I'm going to grab... Uh, I've got my little... Well, I say little, I've got... A, load of circle um, foam little tabs here so I've got a foam circle and I'm just going to pop that in the middle there oh that's just come apart yes the tonics I thought the same <laughs> oh, I won't say anything Sandra it was lovely though they always are I've watched every single call the midwife and all the specials absolutely love it I spotted them in the call the midwife it's now 1966 oh yes they've been out a while that's all right, Teresa, no problem. I cried so much Watch. I, I, it's not a good episode, I don't think, Kate, if you don't cry, is it? Everybody cries. So now that's going to go, oh, it's a bit too big, those discs. I thought they were going to be a bit smaller. Okay, forget that arm. You want to make sure. I'm just going to get some foam. Well, no, I'm going to use the same circles, actually. I'm just going to cut. Let's just... Trim a bit off here. I use I use a corner there. You just want a bit of foam um, that's going to go in the middle and be able to fit through this here because it's going to roll down here. So you see that foam there? That's going to be nice and clear. So you take your backing off, pop it through there, and then stick your disc over this side. So now you'll have your disc will move freely. So that's ready now for us to be able to pop whatever you want on there. So I can leave that again near, nearer to when we've started decorating everything so I can see how everything's gonna look. So 
So whatever you're using, just make sure you've got the clearance for it to be able to slide nice and neatly. I like your little seahorse. Yeah, they're cute, I love the little characters. It should have a really nice movement to it. If you're worried that it's gonna stick at all, use your anti-static buddy with a little bit on the end of a paintbrush. Or just, you know, go around, I'll show you. If I just grab, um, let's grab this one here. Just get a little bit of the powder out. I've got a hole in mine. Just pick up the powder and just go around the side of the foam. So it will just remove, if there is any stickiness, it will just remove that. And you can see it just moves nice and freely. I didn't see that, obviously wasn't watching properly. Yes, they school the midwife it was set in spring 1966. Okay, so that's where you want to be with that. And then next, now I'm going to stick this down and then you can just slide this in underneath this piece, okay? But you want to now stick this onto this piece with foam all around here, but not too close to the mechanism. So let me just grab, um, I'm going to use, in fact I might as well just use the same, yeah I'm just going to use some more circle dots here yeah using the um it's not coming off very well using the uh anti-static powder no that's, that's a silly idea sam why why would you just use a load of those that's a, don't do that <laughs> i'm gonna use my bigger squares which i've got here oops checked my tv i have it on series record funny because my sister's only just started getting into it and now that's all she talks about and I'm like oh my gosh where have you been for like the last 10 years <laughs> but then people might have said that about me with Peaky Blinders because I only started watching that properly um just keep that make sure you don't go too close um this year and then I've binge watched it and now I'm a massive Peaky Blinders fan and I was very very shocked to hear the sad death of Polly I forget the actress's real name but it was very sad Okay, so just again go along the top there. Don't go too close to your mechanism. How's everybody crafting along? Like I said, just tell me to slow down at any point. I really don't mind. Um, uh, my trimmer lost one of the rubber feet and it rocks and it's only a week old. Which trimmer have you got? Um, can you not get replacement feet from the company? So again, just make sure. Yeah, so I've got clearance all the all on all the sides there. I'm just gonna go smooth off any little because sometimes with your dies you might get little kind of rough edges. Just go in there with your finger as well, and kind of yeah, just smooth it all down. These here I got from a charity shop, Teresa, a while ago. I'm just coming to the end of it. But Chloe's Creatives, she does a massive roll of really good foam squares. Um, and they always sell out really quick. I'm not sure if she's got them still in stock or if Craft Stash have them either. That's it, Helen McCory. I have to wait for this so I can pause, rewind, play, etc. I'm really that slow. That's all right. Like I said, these will be up on the Craft Stash Facebook page for you to watch in your leisure and it will be going onto my YouTube channel as well. Jane's working on another project, a birthday book. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like listening to like live crafting when I'm doing things as well. It just feels like you're at like a craft group or something. <laughs> so you've got little tabs on them. Once you find them, you can peel them off quite easily. So I have stamped and coloured a lot of my images because I didn't want this live to be about that because I'm aware that I, you know, there's a few kind of bits I want to squeeze into this one card. So if you have yours already ready as well, then um, that's good. But if not, you can do those in your, your own time as well. So I'm just going to line it up with the top line and then everything else will line up. Okay, I'm wondering now if that's a bit, if 
I should have put two layers of foam. Mm, it's not gonna, it's a bit too tight. I wonder if I can peel that off. You might wanna add two layers of foam. <laughs> this is typical me crafting, guys. And this is what happens. Because I'm using a thinner foam. I'm going to cut this again. I wouldn't have been happy otherwise. <laughs> okay, if my mum's watching now, she'd be like, she's doing it again. I need that to be thicker. It's a thin, this isn't my usual. I usually use, and it's quite a thin foam. Can you see, it's not very thick. It's, it's almost the same thickness as that card. So just make sure, I didn't even stick that one down there. I'm just going to put the foam over the top of that. Um... Yeah, I think Chloe's are like three mil, are they? Three or five mil, which is what you want for this. You need it to be deeper than that piece. So, but that's okay. We can rescue it. You never know. Nobody's going to know. Um, where's my map? <laughs> well, I hope that's the way it's coming across, um, Joan. <laughs> Zoe, you're stressing. Why are you stressing? Tell me. So I'm just gonna redo this one. It's a six and a half. But well, we all do it. it. Doesn't matter, you know, all the crafters that you see and watch, they all do it. And it's the only way we learn. I should have known. It's because my normal roll of foam tape I've run out of. Um so I don't actually have them that thick, so I'm gonna have to double up so five and a quarter there we go <laughs> hey Marie oh, sorry hi Maria um, that is my kind of crafting happy accident <laughs> oh with me peeling the cardstock sorry um, Zoe I thought it was um, you would get stressed with what you were doing so there we go we're back back to where we were but I'm gonna um, I'm going to have to still use these, but I'm going to double them up. So let's just pop them on here. So yeah, just make sure that you've got it. Um, you know, wide enough. You could even cut fun foam in this same size and cover the whole section with fun foam in between. You know, obviously cut all that out. You'd have to cut away a little bit there. But um, the foam foam is really handy if you don't want to keep buying loads of foam uh, tape. We all do know that Sam's real name is Princess Tunnock's Tea Cakes. <laughs> yeah, if I could change my name by deed poll. <laughs> okay. But no, at the end of the day, it's just paper. I have to always think like that, especially when it's live crafting, because, and I think it's good to see people recover from something that maybe they're not happy with, how they, you know, change it and make it work better. So I can just go over those bits there. And then put that one there. So I've not damaged anything else, so. But yeah, make sure it's a nice thick foam in between. Nobody will never know. Nope, they won't. <laughs> and then we'll pop two in there as well. Yeah, you just don't want... I knew as soon as I stuck it down, I thought, no, it's just... It's way too um, thin. What's that there? I thought I would order your paper craft box. I have accidentally ordered two. So I'm hoping I can refund one. Yeah, you'll be able to refi refund that. No problem at all. Is it been dispatched yet? Can you not ring them and get them to change the order? Or has it already been dispatched? Why is this one being so stubborn? And the tag caramel wafer. <laughs> so just make sure, yeah, that's definitely thicker. I think I spend more time doing the foam on the whole card than uh, anything else. Like I said, good job I'd already coloured things because I don't want to um, 
spend all the live colouring. Obviously Maria and other guys at Craft Stash are watching, they're probably thinking, oh my gosh, what's Sam doing? This one does not want to come off. There we go. Yeah, so I don't know whether this foam as well, because it sometimes is a bit challenging to come off. I don't know how old it is. Like I said, I, I picked up a big roll of it in a charity shop and um, it may have already been quite old then because it has got a bit of a yellowy colour to it. I don't know if that's picking up or not on the monitor, but I don't know if it is a bit old. There's one there as well. Okay. No going back after this, so just make sure that's in. Okay. I have to hold that up because I can't get my head in the way because my camera's right in front of me. So just make sure that it's nice and straight. And you're going to cover the top with the little piece as well, so don't worry if it's a little bit out. The magic charity shop, yeah, it is, Kate. So now, there we go. Look, see, it moves nice and freely. Okay, so lesson learned make sure your foam is nice and thick. Let's get rid of all of this. We can resume our normal position and where I was before. All right. Okay. So this is now what you should have. Get rid of that piece there. And this is still going to fit nicely over there. And now when it rocks, it will move side to side. So you can actually pop your stand in now. So this piece here, you'll have that score line. Oh, ours have opened now, Sandra. It was really nice going into my local one the other day. Um, I had quite a few uh, bits and pieces in I didn't really get anything. I brought a couple of toys for Charlie and that was it. <clears throat> Success, we knew <laughs> you could pull it together. Now this piece is gonna stick on the back here. So you wanna make sure that this straight line here is parallel with this straight line, okay? And then it will open up and then that's where we're going to add our little stopper which is here but i think it's good to get this piece in now and we've got color all on there because of the decoration it's nice to see it i'm gonna to have to cover a little bit of pattern paper there you see i've got some color i think it's come off that mat but that's fine these things happen um sam you haven't put the blue part behind the slider that's all right, I'll be doing that later. Don't worry, I won't forget. You can add it, you add it in after. I mentioned that before, so don't worry. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with this glue because then I can wiggle it around until it's in place. So pop your glue along here. And then I'm going to lay down the bottom there and just, like I said, make sure that line is parallel with this one here. And just give that a minute to grab like so i'm just going to pop that on there I'm just gonna have a bit of my drink a minute and I'll just put that over there what's people saying i work in a charity shop so i can't wait until we open again oh did you forget the back the backing in the side no 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 i mentioned that right at the start you can add that in right at the end you just slide it under I had to answer the door amazon delivery <laughs> scotland is still a little behind on the shops Okay, I thought you were ahead at one point, but I think, did you go into another lockdown? I'm not sure. I know Canada's got it pretty bad at the moment. They've gone into a big lockdown again. Okay, I just hope that does not happen here. I am over lockdowns. <laughs> okay. Now with this one, you will have your three score lines. You wanna fold them so you have so I'll do it that way so you've got like an M shape or a bird, I guess. Okay. Um, it's frozen. I'm still here. Everything looks good my end. I'm still live. Yep, there's nothing. I'm on charge. My phone's charged. There's no issues here. So hopefully, Paula, it's just a refresh or maybe it was a little blip. Just going to snip a little bit off that end there. Netherlands still the same, non-essential, open only by appointments. 
I know they've got really ahead with the vaccine program. <laughs> it's already come, Benita. I heard it beep, so it'll already be outside. Only got boring stuff. Hey, Jean. And then you want to add glue to the outer tabs. So that one and that one. Okay. And then open it up. And you're going to pop one of the tabs. So it's just coming down to the bottom. And then just hold that down and fold that down. And just leave it in there for a minute. Canada get, got really bad. Holland has been hot pretty hard to hit pretty hard to I think <clears throat> don't do stars yeah don't do stars <laughs> we believe you get charged for them so don't don't touch the stars <laughs> just a thumbs up and a heart <laughs> smiley face that good stuff uh Pamela had a second job on Saturday oh good so you you that's it now you can go out you can go dancing you can do what you want <laughs> if only eh? I go for my second jab on Wednesday okay yeah everybody worrying about this what we can do you just pop your glue and then you just slide it underneath and you just move it into place obviously do it when you've got glue on it because then you get it caught so we'll do that now because I know people panicked that I'd forgot it so I just pop my glue and then I'm just gonna slide it under and you can just match it up with the pattern like so and just move that along because I've used the liquid glue, I can just wiggle it around there until I'm happy with its placement. I think that's good. <coughs> I've not even had my first jab yet, so um, I work in the local hospital and it's quiet. Hoping it stays like that. Yeah, I bet, Angela. Time for sweets. Yes, Ella, thank you for the reminder. I'm going to have some fizzy, fizzy pig tails. I've got this bag as well. I've got two on the go. I've got Percy pigs, I've got Percy's tails. So I'll have one of them while this glue's just drying. Okay. Pop these bits away so I don't lose anything. should open up two inches which I think is plenty if you did want it wider but I think that's more than enough now once something's on there that will rock although it's probably just lifted that a bit now with the weight of the the um hmm no it's not made it it will move once I put stuff on it I could also put a penny on that if I, or a magnet if you'd wanted to add more weight but because I've just added the back see it moves but I've got to shake it now because that's just created some more depth. So I'll probably put a real penny on there in a minute. Fizzy Percy Pigs, they're fizzy Percy tails. <laughs> I think I've got a sugar rush. I think that's what it is. Right. Now, if you want to stamp, now's the time to stamp on this. So you can still do it right at the very end. So in the stamp set, you've got, just trying to think, long time no see. I think I'm going to emboss sending birthday fishes down here and then maybe have a fantastic day along the top there. And I think I'm wondering whether to do heat embossing on this as well. So let's do a shaker card as well. Just got to make sure I get all the steps in. I'm not confusing people. I might just do a little bit of inking here as well. Yeah, let's get a bit of inking done. So you get your little ink cube. Let's do... Mm -mm. Just want to get all the background built up now because once you've done this, you won't be able to go into it anymore. So let's just... This is the stencil as well. This comes in the kit. And this is just to create more depth because you're not going to see a lot of this once we start really adding all the stamps and dies and stuff it's going to soon you know 
disappear but I kind of want to get it all in there now whilst you've got the time let's do a bit up here as well I like to the party dentist appointment early hey Linda thanks for joining so yeah just have some fun with your stuff in your kit you know add anything you want I'm gonna stamp the school of fish and um that'll probably be it there we go it just creates just a little bit more going on there and then let's we we'll use that in a minute for the sand as well because i want to get a bit of a seabed going in let's grab this one here hey sam my sister would like the blowfish on the mechanism <laughs> Okay, it's an option. Um, right, let's grab my stamp block. And let's do this. Let's put a bit more on there, actually. Let's do this one here. Okay, and you're not going to see all of this, but it's just little, little bits for people to pick up. There we go. Because although this is a goldfish bowl, <laughs> mine's more mystical it's more of a um what's the word i'm looking for um oh, okay it come to me later it's not real anyway put it that way <laughs> maggie had a second jab last week and my first haircut in five months this morning yeah i'm still waiting for my haircut right so that's that then we want to do the seabed so we've got i mean you might be using this scene you know, you don't need to worry about the seabed because it's already there, but you could stamp that school of fish and stuff. So, you know, you've got lots of things to choose there, but I am going to grab the cardstock. So you get the sand colour here and I'm going to use the circle cutter again. I think I need to clean that ink. I think that ink is actually wet. That's where that came off on my card. I used this side before. So I'm just going to go back now and go down to six inches and I only want a little bit so I'm only going to do just come in and cut about there let's just come onto it a little bit you only want the curve really because we're going to cut along the top bit okay and then we're going to trim into it now but that's going to go there and I'm going to use my stencil to get the seabed so just choose one of the sides you can see there you get that's more for the like the waves the flatter one was the one that I thought would work better for your seabed so I think I'm going to do there mystic Meg's bowl <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I'm just gonna draw around that with the pencil and then use my scissors and just cut around that and then we can ink it up a little bit with the brown ink as well okay so now you'll see that's going to go along the bottom so let's grab this one and let's just use my actual messy inky mat here and just kind of kiss the sides there and just blend that in you can use a distress tool as well and kind of roughen up the edges you can use sandpaper because I know a lot of people have actually used real sandpaper in their um in fact I'm going to use my distress tool because I've got it um I thought I had it just here hang on because I think that catch to the ink really nicely the one thing that I can't find where I put it because it used to be on oh there it is it's right here so I've got this little gadget it just roughs up the edges there it's by Dovecraft again might be on craft stash I'm not sure but can you see you get that effect and now when you add your ink because it's the white core of the card it will literally suck up that colour but it's darker as well. 
it gives it a really nice effect. You can go in with the cube, actually rub it right in there. See how dark that is. There you go. It just gives you a really cool effect. <clears throat> so I'm trying to watch the chat, but I'm also really do want to make sure I get in lots of techniques for you all. So now that one's going to go right along the bottom there. So we get that stuck down. I might, I'm going to pop it. I've just got to remember now. You could even stick this on the outside of the acetate as well. Because I'm just thinking if this is going to be a shaker, sequins, mind you, the sequins will sink. That's not necessarily sequins. I don't know what I'm going to use in it yet. Um, I just need to think about, because some, it does look nice even with shaker cards to have the scene kind of coming out of the card. I do that with a lot of mine. So if we just imagine that this is on the outside. I want to see how much of it you're going to see. Yes, you see just enough of it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking... I've got to think about this carefully because I don't know if this is really going to work and move that freely in a shaker card. So it's going to have acetate over the top. I'm going to have to really build up the foam on the sides. I think it's just going to be a bit too much. So I think we're going to maybe not do this as a shaker. I don't think it's going to work. You've got, a, you know, now I'm putting it all together. I'm able to really think about this. Um, gold glitter, like the sand, that, that'd be nice. The glitter, yeah. Will the shaker bits go behind the slider? Yeah, see, that's another point, Chris. Shaker bits going in there. I think it's, I think I'm being a bit too ambitious. <laughs> um and the clear bubbles, they're going to be quite dimensional. No, we're just going to keep this as a rocker penny slider. It's still got a lot going on. So I'm going to now stick this with some foam because I do want to pop like seaweed and stuff behind it. So I'm going to grab my smaller squares here. Yeah, so you're all thinking the same things as me. It's just, uh, it's a bit too much. I think if it wasn't a penny slider, then definitely I think it will um, be a lovely shaker rocker card um so you you know you can see the option all you will do is with your frame you'll put your acetate sheet behind that and then put foam around here and stick it on obviously seal the top as well but um yeah, it's easy hi sam is there a certain thickness of acetate um you don't well you can use construction weight construction weight is around 250 microns which is about 300 gsm so anything lower than that for shaker it's just a window you don't need anything particularly thick for shaker cards as long as it's strong but any any good companies um acetate will be fine right so that's that then i'm going to stamp the have a fantastic day so let's get that done um, This one in here. I'm just going to line that up. You could also have just another little idea. You could have the wave coming out the top of the fish bowl. I think that would look really cool. So let's grab. I don't want the lid. I'm thinking actually. No, I've got black in there. Actually, so I do this all the time. I'm always changing my mind. <laughs> I was going to do navy blue for the sentiment, but there's black outline with the stamped images, so it will all match. Um, could do a shaker if you use two sheets of acetate. A shaker, oh yeah, no, that's my brain's hurting too, Anne. <laughs> but I totally get what you're saying. Yeah, I get you. Let's just move that magnet. Okay, let's just stop in the end, there we go. Um, like a fish trying to jump out. Yes, that would be good as well. A jumping fish. So now that is going to go along the top. Oh, I love that. It's already starting to, yeah, it's coming together. But I just need to make sure, yeah, we'll get a real penny. I'm going to have to raid my purse in a moment and get that out. So I'm going to pop a thin, I'm going to grab my strips of foam. Um, which are... Did I put 
put my stripes see this is when I am now forgetting where I put some of my stuff um, hmm, damn it oh here they are I knew I brought them out okay so these are just thin strips of foam that I picked up from Amazon and I'm just going to run a thin strip doesn't matter that it doesn't go all the way along just along the top there yeah the hair gel that's one of the cards that I've done for the magazine the little booklet that you get with this kit I've done one with using real hair foam um hair gel so now I'm just going to have this just literally on the edge there of that foam there we go yeah clear glue nouveau drops as well there we go <laughs> oh this is looking so cool i'm really pleased with it although is that not oh i've not taken the backing oh it must have been two halves of the backing i thought why is the rest of that not sticking yeah what is that must have been the end of like the backing roll where they put it together there we go lost the live on facebook mm, i'm still very much here susan i hope you um managed to sort that okay let's do the fun bit now this is the bit i love more than any anything else is getting it decorated so puffer fish i think that's what was uh, mentioned as a suggestion we'll go with that now you can see here like going to start playing around I'm going to cut more bits out I've got the I need to die cut the treasure so we do that and we do these a few different heights already I just I've been in love with the card already and it's not even finished now the one thing you need to make sure is that whatever you build up doesn't interfere with your penny slider um, you know you, if you've got too much coming up around there so I'm going to really focus on the details here but my fish and stuff I'm going to have to make sure you know they do stay away um, from the uh, main puffer fish there so we've got to get the crab in now there are dies for this but I'm gonna fussy cut I find it just a bit quicker personally <laughs> um, it's just again it's just how I am you've got the submarine you could add that I think I want to add this rock little rockery area as well we've got to get the seahorse in as well so we we'll do him Please additionally um, an action wobbler. Yeah, action wobblers would look really nice actually on this kind of card. So let's cut a few bits out and then I'll grab a penny from my purse in a second. I just like to cut right up in and unfortunately not all the dies can get that close in. They just, they're too hard to line up otherwise. So, my fussy cutting addiction takes over and I have to cut them by freehand. I'm going to put googly eyes on him as well, so apologies if someone's already mentioned that, but as I'm cutting around his eyes I've just thought about adding those. So we'll get, get some fun elements onto this and of course the glossy accents as well. So. Um, what series is the new Call the Midwife or what channel was it on, please? It was on um, BBC, BBC One. And you can get them all on iPlayer. I think they're all on there. For I, I own them all anyway. I like I said, I'm, a, I'm quite a Call the Midwife um, fan. Me too, fussy cutting is faster. <laughs> So we have in there, in fact, I'm going to remove that white bit as well because that will just bug me. Let's just get in there. Okay. Oh, there's little eyes. Just tidy up the top there. 
There we go. So he's going to go there. Well, no, actually, maybe, because I think that rock seems to me it needs to go on the left. So we'll pop that there. Are there any dies in the small stamps? Have problem cutting small items out. The tiny, tiny ones, no. But I'll give you. I'll show you a trick in a minute for die cutting. Um, and it will probably help you a lot on lining them up because it's easy. Um, I've got a few of the stencils here from the last time I showed it actually as well. So I will show you in a second. But no, th I mean, things like this were designed for you to stamp straight onto the, the cardstock and create your background. So that's, you know, the reasoning why sometimes some things come with dies and they don't because it's how we thought most people would use them. So but that one now will go there. Yeah, and I'll bring them up maybe a little bit higher. Um, yeah, so with the die cutting, so for example, the blowfish, if you die cut the blowfish, like you've got the dies here. So there's the blowfish die. So just cut it into a piece of cardstock. Okay. And then um, you use your stencil over your image you want to cut. So you lay the stencil down until you've got the border exactly where you want it. Tape that all in place and then pop your die back in and it will lock into place and then run both of them through your machine. And that way you'll get the perfect frame. Okay, so you've got the dies in here for the angelfish, the puffer fish, and the submarine and the stingray and the crab. But the small, all of these, you'd have to fussy cut or use a digital machine. But they're, they're, again, with them, you they're pretty just cut a circle around them, you know, and just kind of slightly shape it. Try not to make it too hard for yourself. Whatever you do with one, do it across all of them so it consistent, consistently looks the same. You've got the same kind of white. Right, I'm just going to grab my purse so I can get a penny. my purse out as well so I've got so much in here let's grab there we go <clears throat> um, good tip regarding cutting template yeah it's a really good one I got it from uh, Gina Kay when I was watching one of her lives so now I'm gonna pop the penny is literally the same size um, but that's going to hide behind there, but it just means it has got that weight, but it might end up rocking, like I said at the beginning, but we'll go with it. Um, so I'm going to grab a little foam pad there. Oh, thank you, um, Cheryl. That's really kind of you. Stick that one on there. Now I'm going to grab another foam. It's going to be very dimensional, this bit. I might end up using my... For the purposes of the video, I'm going to use today's live. I'm going to use this dot on top, but I think afterwards I might take it off and just use the Kalau and just let it dry because the Kalau is brilliant glue. It will stick to anything. But now you can stick that on there. We'll just move that away. You see how easily that moves now. But look, <laughs> that's how it's going to be. So whoever displays this will have to make sure that they display the puffer fish right in the middle so that it stays upright <laughs> otherwise it's just going to roll off the table but you can see there you get the weight for it but i'm going to take one of those pads off and just bring that down a bit because it's very dimensional otherwise i love using this stencil idea over the image i die cut out okay let's start sticking these bits down so let's grab my other glue Thank you, love the card, and I like to make slider card this afternoon now. Oh, good. A drunken rocker, very. It's a very drunk rocker. <laughs> drunk rocker. <laughs> um, right, okay, so let's... By the time we start adding these things on as well, this is going to add weight in places, and I want to get the treasure chest as well, because that should go behind the sand a little bit. So we'll die cut that in a moment. How's everybody getting on with theirs? 
Are they still crafting along? Just pop a thumbs up if you are. Don't worry about commenting. Um, lol, that's how I feel rolling on, rolling to the side. Oh, fab card, suitable for all ages. <laughs> so funny. What about acetate circles of the penny slide? Oh, the, yeah, you can. It's not the um, it's not the card or anything that's doing it. It's the, the weight of the penny that I've put on. Um, and it was because I've just added that blue background. It was moving fine. I've, I've only added the penny because I added that background and it created more depth. Um, now I know why it's called a penny rocker, but could you use flat buttons? How would you? Yep, 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 yep. I need the weight because I've just added that background. So that's the reason I've done that. I don't use pennies. I don't ever feel I need to. It's just because I've then added that afterwards and it's created more depth, which has made the slider tighter. The weight of the penny just means it will move now. With all the fab stamps, you need a bigger bowl. I know. <laughs> Jenny, slow but getting there. That's good. Don't rush it. Okay. Um, let's let's die cut the um, the treasure chest and the anchor. Let's get some shine and sparkle into this. So we've got the anchor, the chest, you've got the gems and you've got the coins. And we'll do the starfish, um, sorry, the jellyfish. I like them at the top there. So we'll do a couple of those as well. Again, if anybody's joining, you can get the um, kit and any of the past kits. There's a hidden code on Craft World and the pinned link takes you straight to my box. And if you're already on Craft World, you'll be able to find the hidden code to get five pound off until the 26th. And there's also Paper Craft Society stars. If you head over, not stars on this, don't hit the stars on there. I think maybe that might have confused some people as well. Paper Craft Society star is something that goes on over on Craft World. You submit anything that you've made using your Paper Craft Society kits and the designer of that month will choose three winners and you will win a made to surprise bundle. <laughs> so make sure you enter your cards over there as well. Okay, just have to get that bit in because I keep forgetting I'm on the craft stash page. So. Let's grab some scraps. Let's use, um, do we do that? No, let's go, let's do more of a craft card color. Let's, we do, no, that's too sand light. It does need to be darker. Um, oh, that one. I think I used that before actually from the one of the samples I made. Um, so we'll do that one for him. Then I want, um, let's grab you can actually see the pieces I've used before. So there's the gems, so we cut, we use all of those. And then I just need something for the jellyfish. Um, you've got the card that comes in the kit, you get a beautiful, beautiful, um, iridescent card but I've used all mine so I'm going to use the holographic and I'll need that bit instead so let's cut some bits and pieces out that's a great incentive to share your product project projects thanks Sam God, I can't get my words out I'm talking way too much I think I am a bit high on sugar I feel a little bit um wired <laughs> for a usual Monday craft along I feel very yeah awake um Salmon on a bed of spinach, shallots, peppers, tomatoes for dinner. <laughs> Jeanette's got it in there. Sorry if anybody else has already said about their dinner. I've just seen that. Jellyfish cut from vellum. What? Yeah, they do look really nice. <laughs> my fussy cutting skills are nil. Oh, on the back of one of my cards, I give you lots of tips on fussy cutting, and I've got a nice YouTube video. Um, yeah, YouTube video which um, gives you some really good tips on fussy cutting. Switched it for chicken. That's yummy. Okay. <laughs> right, so let's just... Yeah, it's good lifting the sand up slightly because you can, yeah, pop things behind. It looks like it's like fallen and sunk into the sand. Uh, that's because you're standing up. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> Sri Lankan chicken curry. Nice. Um, just want to make sure I've done those. Let's put those over there. 
and then let's do gold coins it's the fizzy pigtails yeah i think you're right <laughs> still not your favorite jane no it's not it's very much a marmite um thing to do i think within the crafting world is is fussy cutting let's do two lots of coins got another one there as well oh no that's not that was the inside of the anchor um a couple of sand layers would be good for popping things into yep um looking great sam thank you okay that's that one and then a couple of gems so we do silver green and red every single one of these oh I didn't like that at all let's do that again dropped my seaweed dye on the carpet and now I can't find it oh yeah been there with the uh, losing dyes I've just lost a very small stamp the other day and I've got to now try and get get hold of it somewhere because it's part of my next kit <laughs> I saw a lot of jellyfish on my Florida vacation yuck not as cute as yours <laughs> no I've um when I've been in the sea I've swam and um I've been stung by a jellyfish before um fortunately it wasn't too bad a sting but it still hurt and it still swelled up and um I've also stood on the the black spiky um crustacean thingy not a crustacean, is it? It's a, um, and that was painful. And that was in Indonesia when I was in the Gili Islands. And yeah, this has got a soft spot on my um, dye machine. Um, yeah, that was a that was a killer. It really did hurt. It was again, it's like a bee sting, but like ten times worse. Um, arriving a bit late card is looking good yes our little fish bowl right so let's start building up the money or the treasure so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue and just have different pieces I've got my little pokey tool somewhere but I still haven't sorted those bits out but I'll do that later on today. Let's do coin up there. And then let's do a couple of gems. We'll do a green one up here. Sea action, that was the bugger. Yeah. There is an, I remembered the name, but it was years ago when it happened and um, they're just black with all loads of spikes all over them. And I was snorkeling and then I stood up and didn't realise it was behind me. I was snorkeling over all the rocks and stuff. It was beautiful, absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, very, very painful. Um, we'll do one there. So that's going to kind of, maybe we'll have that one resting um, no it's gonna have to be that side I think I'm gonna just snip the corner off there so I can get more of it that's better it kind of sinks I might have it a little bit behind that leaf as well yeah and then we'll have the rest of the few more of the gems and stuff on the bottom there yeah, it was ouch. <laughs> Definitely an ouch moment. Okay. Put that behind there. And then let's get some more coins on the seabed. So it's all fallen out of the treasure chest yeah sea urchins
could get some blue ones in there as well. I could always add them at another date. Um, let's get some more silver. And then a couple of little loose, let's do a loose coin down there. And maybe a loose one there as well. Oop, there we go. That will do. So that's our treasure that's fallen everywhere. Then we'll have our anchor can go there. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm pleased with how it's come together. So a little bit of glue. Put a bit on there as well. That can go in there. And then let's pop our crab on a bit of foam. So he's going to go there and we will get his googly eyes on him as well. Um, so let's do that one like so. Let me just grab my googly eyes. So let's do... I only need the smallest ones. Yeah, there we go. Is that the ones I used that size? Yeah, it was. <laughs> they look so funny when you put them on. There we go. Um, my grandson would adore this card. It's looking amazing. Thank you. Thanks, Simone. I have the micro serrated ones. Oh, what are the best scissors for fussy cutting? Um, I don't necessarily know if they're the best, but the ones I've used and enjoyed a lot are the Tonic Studio ones. These, these are titanium ones. I've also got the Crafters Companion snips. I've got these ones here, which I used to use years ago for a long time, still go to those. And there's those Tonic ones as well, which have the serrated edge on one side. If you flip them over, you get the smooth edge, depending on what you want. But yeah, these are my go-to really, is these ones. I find them really comfortable. Um, Carl is loving the crab. <laughs> this is my, I get lost doing this. I just absolutely love this part of card making, just creating little scenes and it's the tiniest little details for me. Um, and it's what I love to see people then look at when I, you know, give them a card and they're like, oh my gosh, look at that. And they keep finding little bits and moving little bits and touching bits on the card. And I just love that. <laughs> I love how the eyes are going to wobble in the card. Um, rocks. Mind you, don't lose that little gem die just under your um, hand. I think it's that one. Yeah, put that on the mat. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so many scissors. Stamping up snips are good. Yeah, see, uh, there's lots of companies that will do their own snips as well, which I'm sure are great. Um, okay, so now let's add in. This is the wave, so you could. You could tuck the wave in like there. You could just stick it behind that bit. You see? So if you did want to add another part to it, I'm not going to because I don't want a wave coming out of my fish tank, but if you go more down just the route of having it as a just a funny card, he's definitely too top heavy. I'm going to have to move and change that because that would just bug me. Um, let's just... Let's just see. It does, it moves. It's just too heavy, like you've really got to rock it. We'll leave it for now because otherwise I'll, I'll faff around too much. But yeah, it's just that back bit. That's where I went wrong. I might end, I'm tempted to peel that off and because um, I can easily lift that and then just put the paper over it because I've got the other bit cut. So I may well do that because I think that will then sort out all my problems. So let's cut a couple of jellyfish. Yeah, I've not ended up using a load of things. I mean, I'm going to add a couple of fish still, but you know, it's not not even used all of the uh, pieces that I stamped out. Let's I think I could bring in kind of like the purple fish. I think he could come in. I know I've got the seahorse as well. I'll use these for the other card. So the seahorse could be... Maybe he could be like 
stuck up there because that won't interfere with him moving and then he could be swimming like there yeah we'll do that do the five piece weigh less do they i'll have to see if i've got one maybe we add the five p instead but it's always going to depend on the card weight you're using what you have spinning on your penny slider you know so everybody's is always going to be a little bit different but i've always found and this is an example the real pennies to just be too heavy i think it's more because i'm doing it on a rocker card but i just found they, they kind of thud to each side and um whereas like this one this doesn't have a penny in it and it's, it's on acetate um, but it, when it doesn't catch on the, the leaves there, it has such a smooth kind of motion and there's no weight to it. It's so lightweight, but it also didn't have that piece there. It wasn't thick like this piece, so it's worked a bit better. But it is what it is. It's okay. I'm going to have the fish just there, so it's kind of in amongst the seaweed. So back to my... Yeah, I might do them under both. There we go. So that's flat. That's not going to interfere with that. And then let's do this one. Ooh. So how is everybody? Did everybody have a nice weekend? I should have asked that a bit earlier. Anybody get out too much? Who ventured into the shops? Anybody venture into Primark? I haven't done anything like that yet. A couple of my friends did. But there was like queues in a lot of places as well. I just didn't fancy doing that. I was going to, but then I thought, no. <laughs> I'm going to move my craft room around instead. <clears throat> kind of want him there, actually. Just thinking about keeping more of that clear. I might do another jelly. I might do three jellyfish. One, two, three. Because it's nice to work in odd numbers. Deborah had a lovely weekend with her grandson. Um, my granddaughter was affectionately named a seahorse because of how she looked on her scan picture. Oh, and that lovely. That's really cute. I like that. Carla was working all weekend. Susan, oh wow, I bet that was it. Yeah, but that was quite nice though, wasn't it? Being busy in the pub. I'm fed up because Stampin' Up won't let me sign up as a demo. Why not, Christine? Do you actually want to be a full-on demo or a hobby, hobbyist demo, isn't it? Isn't that the other one? Why won't they let you? Um, I'm giving the shops a miss for a little bit longer. Yeah, don't blame you, Sue. Had my two small children here for an hour or so to play on our bouncing castle. Oh, that's nice. Been busy in the garden with the nice weather. Yeah. Went walking with the grandchildren. Went to hobby, hobby craft and spent... I see, I haven't. No, I've not been. Not been to hobby craft. So I might have that one hanging off and that one there. So that looks nice. I like that. Yeah, I think we're we're kind of there. Then I'll add a few of the um, the doodah um, water droplets. <laughs> Couldn't find my word then. Full on demo to use with my business. Oh, oh, you can't. Um, I didn't think that's probably why though, because you can't. You have to be completely them or nothing. I think I don't think you can mix your own business with Stamping Up. I'm sure that was what I knew of them anyway. I'm pretty sure you cannot work with your own business with theirs. Because you have to just use all their stuff. That's my understanding of it. I was going to be one a long time ago. I thought about it. I've got some lovely product. I need a wax seal stamp of a daisy head. Um, I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. I went to Hobbycraft and spent a fortune. <laughs> I bet it was nice. I bet it was nice to not buy stuff on the internet and actually feel it and hold it in your hand. Okay. That's our, yeah, look at all that. Jellyfish look really nice in the holographic. If you get anything sticky on them, 
just let it dry for a bit and then you can just wipe it straight off. Um, oh, sorry if I shook the camera then. There we go. So we've got googly eyes. We've got our puffer fish that moves really nicely, but it's just a bit of a thud. Oh, and we didn't stick him down. He can go on a little bit of foam. So let's just grab just half of one of the circles. Thank you. They do wax seal sets in the range. Oh, do they? I've not seen them before. There we go. Yeah, see, you've got to make sure he will go right in the middle. There we go. And it stands up nicely. Right. Um, so with the back piece, I wanted to do pattern paper. See, I've got that mark there, that stain. But the idea with this piece is, is you just cut a bit more off the top and you use it as a matte layer if you've got this in a coloured piece. So I might do a coloured piece over the top and then have that. But that's where you'll use that to stamp your message. But let me just try the 5P because I'm nearly coming to the end now. So um, let's see. still attached yeah right oh yeah there is quite a difference isn't there sorry i'm late to the party love the car that's all right allison i'm going in a minute <laughs> you'll be able to watch it all on playback and i'll be putting this on youtube as well so let's do a 5p there we go and then like I said, I'm just going to use another bit of foam for the sake of the live, but I will end up sticking this actually with my glue in a while. Bit that you had cut to use the brown ink in the in the white bit that you had cut and use the brown ink, Sam. I don't know what that's in reply to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yes, it still works fine. So it's, it's doing what it should. It's doing exactly what it should. But it's just got too much of a thud for me. Um, whereas when it's lighter, it will just move with the weight of this. Do you know what? I'm just going to do it. I've got to get this out. It's just going to forever bug me. The card is done, but now I'm, I'm showing you what I will do when I come off this live. This is, it. this is what I will do straight away. This has created too much bulk because of the 300 GSM card. So I'm going to peel off everything. I just want it to be on that. That's all I want it to be on. See, it just moves nicely enough on that. I'm going to see if I can peel this off. Or if not, I'm going to have to cut. Let's just take this away carefully. Just want this to be the paper. Depends how much of the glue I got on it. I might just get away with it. That 300 GSM has just created just too much bulk. Oh, look at that. There we go. So let's make sure that's nice and smooth. And get rid of anything. Get rid of that bit there as well. It just shows you can still do stuff with the card without ruining it. Again, nobody's going to know. <laughs> and then let's just pop some glue in here. And then which way was my design? So it was that way. Just so much like thinner now it should allow that to move much more freely let's just feed that under there okay there we go so there's two things I've 
ripped apart on this card. All right, let's just give that a minute to dry. It's great to see how you can rectify things. <laughs> Rescued. Yeah, he no tears. No, honestly, you can, you would never know. You really would not ever know. But I do need another sweet because I have got a little bit of a sweat on. <laughs> a little bit lumpy um let's just grab but yeah ideally i mean you want the thing is i've always done it like that and i didn't get it on the other ones so but you want that to be paper thin Make sure there's no glue sticking anywhere either. So just go in with your anti-static powder there and just go around. You know, at the end of the day, it works. It's, it's me being quite fussy as well. Um, let's take one of those off there. Yeah, I'm done. I put the little bubbles for when. Oh yeah, I've got to add me little bubbles. You just reminded me. That'll bring us up nicely to the end. There you go, he's moving better now. I just prefer that. I don't like all that weight. Right, let's grab our water droplets and add a couple of these. Again, I always like to work in odds, so let's do, let's use this one here. Um, so you've got bubbles in the picture as well. You could always follow them, but we'll do, do a couple down here. There's like bubbles coming up from like the seaweed and stuff. It will look white, but it will, once the glue dries, it will dry nice and clear. So let it go all white behind it so you know you've covered it well. And then we do there, there, and there. And that one. That one and that one. Again, that's going to add weight. Oh no, look at that. Stands so much better without the weight of that. We need to let that dry for a second, otherwise they're going to move. So just hold that there and I'll get some glossy accents as well. Um, take care, Tammy. I hope you enjoy the box. No, just finishing it up now, Katie. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. If you're putting on the frame, you won't see. No, we're not doing the frame anymore. The frame was if I was doing the shaker card. This is your frame. You've got your frame already here. Um, the frame was for if I was doing the shaker. So I just got it ready just in case. But then I decided pretty early on that I wasn't going to use it. But that's just typical me and how I tend to craft. I change my mind all the time. OK, let's get some glossy accents. And that will bring us up nicely to the end. Um, how are you ladies going to share your finished makes anyway? Yeah, make sure you share them. Excuse me, on um, Craft World. Make sure you share them within that um, kind of competition. And also you can share them over on Mixed Up Crafters. I'm going to pop a little glossy accent in the eyes. And there. And there. I'm not going to go over mm, all the seaweed and stuff. I kind of feel like I want to do um, another. I feel like I need a little bit more seaweed. <laughs> Let's just have a little look here. Sorry, guys, I know some of you will be wanting to go. But I'm just. I feel that one little strand looks a little bit lost, like he needs a little bit more next to him. Oh, gone a little bit crooked there. I'm going to snip that away anyway, so that doesn't matter. Just like, just a little bit 3D. Just 
that one don't see a lot but it just needs a little bit more and then maybe yeah and that's just this is why it's good like I keep saying it to add foam because you can just keep adding little bits you know where you want them there we go that's better <laughs> one two three four five six seven hmm I've just got these little fish I kind of want to put them in as well <laughs> That's it, I'm stepping away after this. Has anybody already said step away from the card, Sam? Because <laughs> you know what I'm like. Now these are like the fish. So you've got your school of fish at the back there and these are like the fish from that. You know, it's like they've come a bit closer into the um, the foreground here. So I just want to kind of, there we go. It just looks a little bit more fun there. So another little... Oh, that come out way too much. Okay, that happens sometimes. That's way, way too much. So let's just get rid of that. Just wipe it off. All it will do is leave. Oh, it's not actually even left to shine. If you get it quick enough, you can just remove it. I just want a little, there we go. Tiniest amount, just on the eyes. Just adds a little bit of shine. Right, that's it. I'm stepping away. <laughs> Christine said, step away from the card, Sam. You do make me laugh, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> but it is it's just all those little details i just love them like i've not even done the coral i mean can we get that in anywhere no i am I'm, 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 I'm joking i'll keep all those for the other card which i will film once i've had a cup of tea <laughs> get that one done straight away that will go up um next week on my channel but um i'm really pleased with it it's just another idea along with this one the ones in your book and I'll definitely be doing some more. Um, I'll leave that one in there actually. Don't want to turn it because it's there's a lot of glossy accents on that eye there. Thank you so much, everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed the craft along today. I've thoroughly enjoyed making this card. And I think it, the water looks real. When I look in the, um, from a distance, when I'm looking in my um, iPad, it, it really does look like the water's shimmering, you know? Enjoy your food shop, Sandra. <laughs> um, looks colourful and fun. I mean, that's people are really going to notice those kind. You know, these kind of cards when they're displayed, when you've given them to someone. Oh, there's me mum. This is just perfect. Love this card. Thanks, mum. You've got the kit, and you're just looking at it. So um, <laughs> make sure you get into it. Use it. <laughs> Use it and abuse it. It's there to be used and enjoyed. And you can download the papers. So. Did you just, no, the frame was for the shaker card and we didn't decide to do the shaker card in the end. So that frame was to back the acetate onto, but I changed my mind. So that, where is that frame? Yeah, the frame's here. So if we had the acetate, that would go on top, but there's too much going on. Um, the googly eyes, I know they're good, aren't they? <laughs> um... You're welcome, Teresa. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Sam, for another great live. You're welcome. Like I said, the pinned link to the box is pinned. You can see it just below there. It's my affiliate links so that take you to the box. And if you head over to Craft World, there's a hidden code. You can get five pound off any box, not just mine, and that's valid for a week. But um, if you're not on Craft World, you can become a member for free, and you can still get the code. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for another wonderful way to make the beginning of our week such fun and enjoyable. I love Mondays. Oh, thank you, Kim. That really means a lot. Get out of the box, Julie. Yep, yeah, Pamela's telling you, Mum. <laughs> Hi, Joan. This is the latest Papercraft Society box. And it's this one here. It's my one. And it's the box number 19. And it's the Mata Surprise. It's got everything I've used today is in this kit. It comes in a nice box and you get ink pads and you get your water droplets and stencils. Like I said, everything I've used is all in there um the craft along was so much fun sam thank you oh bless you good night thank you sam for another great afternoon you're welcome just made it back we'll have to watch yeah it will go up in a moment it will just um process and then you'll be able to get it on the craft stash page i really don't know where the download papers are page six of your book sandra 
if, um, in the kit go to page six and you'll see the link just type it in and it'll take you to the papers loved watching your creative genius at work yeah made a few changes but got there in the end thanks sam and craft stash for a great craft along hoping my box isn't too far away must be swimming oh i hope you get it soon okay guys well thank you for watching it's bang on four so i'm gonna go now grab a cup of tea and uh relax <laughs> come down from my sugar high i think take care see you all soon bye